Welcome back to the channel, Pirates. My name is Pwn. Appreciate your time. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the roadmap for Sea of Thieves. And uh, if you're like me and many others, we've joked about this game feeling like an early access or like it was just lacking all the content. And it's true. I still enjoy the game and have put well over 100 hours into it already. And now that they've delivered us some juicy goodness in the form of details, we've got a lot to look forward to. So we have information on three DLCs that are going to be releasing in the next few months throughout the summer and then three more for the fall and winter. So that's six more DLC expansions sort of over the next remaining eight months of the year and all of it's going to be free of charge. So we're going to talk about what we know, what we picked up through their video. If you want to check out the information and read the article yourself, it's going to be linked down in the description. But if you just want to enjoy this video, it's a, kind of like a summary. Let's get into it. So what we know, we have weekly events coming which is a pretty cool thing. These are going to be challenges, and they're going to try to keep the game fresh, add in new things for you to collect, new things to do, and it's just going to be kind of an exciting thing to aim for and cooperate with your friends on, and they're going to continuously evolve this process as the game grows, and that is throughout the entire year. A new thing every week, a different type of challenge. Little things that they mentioned before we get into the actual DLC information, they mentioned something about Cursed Cannonballs in the little video snippet, and I was like, okay, so where do you think this is going to go? If you guys have any feelings, leave a comment down below. What do you think these Cursed Cannonballs are going to do? And, and how do you fix them? Like, I, I'm trying to think, like, how are these going to hit us? What are they going to do? How do we fix it? And they've also mentioned something else coming to the world, and these are going to be called Skeleton Thrones, and these are going to be more like puzzles and finding creative ways to get on top of them. They're going to be mounted on top of islands, and you need to either find ways to shoot yourself from the cannons up there, or maybe jumping puzzles, something like that, but they're supposed to give you really interesting rewards. You're supposed to scale them and get to the top. They're called Thrones, and you need to be able to get up there and sit down in it, and it will reward you if you find them. They're not necessarily missions, you just got to find them scattered throughout the various islands on the map. So just a random thing that if you notice one, detour, try to get you some free loot. Now, going into the DLC details, the first one coming out here in May, which is also when the weekly events start, by the way, so that is just next month, we have a new AI coming in, The Hungering Deep. Now, pay attention to what we have in the actual title of this first DLC, Hungering Deep. Inside of this video, they talk about how there are going to be ways for you to explore underwater caverns. They basically want to split this world into the surface, which is us on top of the water and the land doing different missions, but they also want to add a very, very interesting world underneath the water for you to dive and swim underneath these different islands, find these different areas, and fight different creatures inside of these caverns, and just kind of add a new layer to the game. So you're basically going to have an underwater level in the surface that we're so used to already. That's going to be really cool because you're just thinking so linear, like all we have is just what's in front of us. No, they have a whole nother level of entertainment underneath the surface, and that should be really, really cool. They do know that they are going to have new ways for us to communicate with other ships. They're trying to push us to cooperate with other ships, so not necessarily just sabotage each other or kill each other on site any longer. Apparently, they're going to be implementing some way for us to actually communicate and work with other ships so that we could take down this new threat coming in this first DLC. So besides that, general idea, they're trying to push friendliness at the same time, offer in a new underwater experience with the Hungering Deep. Second on the list, and this is just confirmed for summer, this is called Cursed Sails. Again, how is this going to go? Cursed Sails? Does this mean we're finally going to get, like, threatening pirates out there on the boats? Maybe fight Ooh, the ferry or something? This could get interesting, man. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Sounds really, really good. So, one thing we know for this one is, of course, another new form of AI. A new way, a new type of creature to fight, which is really interesting. Probably around a type of ship. And we also know there's a new ship type coming in the second DLC. So sometime in the next couple months, we're going to have a new ship type in here. Last up on the list, the ones that they're giving a little information for, is called Forsaken Shores. Now, this is very interesting because this is supposed to be a new area they are opening up. And again, this is just a few months out. And with this new area comes more dangerous, and words they use were perilous areas. So I don't know if there's going to be traps or ways you can hurt yourself, or if they're just really going to be chock full of all kinds of dangerous animals and people and things you have to fight. I don't know, but in the future they have promised that they will tease us with some of these little spoilers. And we also know that there's going to be a new AI in this, which is probably going to be the continuous pattern. It's not just going to be skeletons all the time. We're going to have new threats and different types of threats. So with this new area, obviously a new AI. Shut up, phone! sorted for this kind of engagement and of course with it being more dangerous they are going to be a probably a way to push yourself so when you hit that pirate legend and you've scaled and you've become stronger they are going to basically ramp up the difficulty whether or not that means more dangerous foes that can fight you in more lethal ways or a dangerous area the world itself is hazardous who knows 
but I'm really excited to see where that goes because I really want to see them push the skill gap and with these new mechanics that they're going to be implementing throughout these expansions and these weekly events, I'm really excited to see how we're going to start communicating, what other kind of mechanics, what kinds of weapons and cosmetics they're going to be throwing in the game, because all of that is coming too. So I'm really excited for this. And then there's three more expansions after those three that I just announced that are coming out this year, again, free of charge. And that is highly exciting news for a game that a lot of people are like, there's nothing to do. Well, boom, every month, month and a half, we're going to have something brand spanking new to keep us occupied on top of weekly updates. In just a month's time, all of this begins. So get out there, start grinding for Pirate Legend, get your rep up, start working on what you can. If you ever wanna swing by a live stream, you wanna get an understanding of the game, or even get some games in with me, I'm gonna leave that link down below. Feel free to follow it and try to come out here and enjoy the seas. Thank you guys for your time. Subscribe if you want more up-to-date information on Sea of Thieves. I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys in the loop. Thanks again, have a great day, and enjoy the game.